All right, AP students, it's now 2.36 a.m., so let's do this so I can go to bed. All right. I have pulled up the primary source packet one on the left side of the screen here, and I have the A parts worksheet for sourcing on the right here. Okay, A parts, APP parts, oh, AP parts, sorry. Um, author, place and time, prior knowledge, audience, reason, the main idea, and finally, so what, the significance, okay? <clears throat> Let's go through a couple of these documents in the primary source packet. Um, <clears throat> the first one, Christopher Columbus's journal, 1492. Now, I'm not gonna ask you to source all of the all of the primary source documents in the primary source packet, please understand. The assignment I'm looking for you to do this weekend involves the documents in the document-based question. There are six of them, and I will show them to you here in a little bit. But I'm going to work through the A-part system so you guys can see what we're talking about. For document A, we're going to pretend this is uh, the Journal of Christopher Columbus. Obviously, it's uh, my good buddy Chris. Okay. So Chris Columbus here, okay? That is our author. Place and time. Um, get as specific as you can, usually just a year. This is Thursday, October 11th, so, and it's 1492, okay? So 10, 11, 1492, there we go. All right, moving on prior knowledge. Uh, this could be your prior knowledge. Um, I'm assuming that's really all it is. I mean, I suppose you could read it to say the prior knowledge of the author, but I'm not sure how helpful that would be because here the prior knowledge would be Columbus would have thought he had prior knowledge of a shortcut route. Um, but what is your prior knowledge? What is your prior knowledge that you bring to this table? What do you know? And just list off a few things. Uh, so you know that um, uh, that uh, he believes he is in India. All right. Not in a new continent. Jeez, if I can spell it. Um, something else we could put, we could, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> we, uh, uh, can talk about how he doesn't, um, he sees them more as, uh, people to be manipulated rather than people to, uh, interact with and trade on equal footing that they're, they're seen as inferior. So he sees natives as a fear. Uh, what are we know he's we know he's Italian, but he's sailing for Spain. So there's probably some conflict there. Uh, we got we also know that that he's doing this in the name of the king and queen of Spain, not on his own accord. So um, he works for Spain the Spanish kings and queens and we keep going on for that so so keep keep jumbling up as many ideas as you think are relevant and necessary uh, but don't uh, don't go hog wild here don't go crazy uh, this assignment I'm looking for you just get to feel familiar with doing this I'm not looking for you to tear apart this document piece by bloody piece I want you to actually have fun cooking out and grilling out on Memorial Day provided it's not going to be raining. Who's the audience here? Well, this is um, this is his journal. And normally I would say journals are for the writer. But this is probably more like his ship's journal. So this is like an official log. So it's an official log that would be um, shown to anyone who had authority or reason to inspect the contents or who needed to evaluate the contents. So 
obviously anyone in the government, the king or queen, anybody in charge of the ships, anybody in charge of uh, naval ma uh, naval maneuvers for the country of Spain, something like that. So it's an official document. It would be written towards uh, government officials. So we'll put this down here. All right. Um, <clears throat> the next one is the uh, reason. Why did he write this? To keep a record. But also to um, sell this voyage as a win for the King and Queen of Spain. After all, the King and Queen of Spain paid for his trip over here. So he needs to make sure that they see the value in this. So he is not going to point out anything negative like, you know, these natives killed my my friend or anything like that. That's probably an event like that probably would not make the book. But he's going to talk about gold. Um, um, he's going to talk about gold. He's going to talk about uh, to keep a record uh, to sell the trip to uh, the king queen was, no, it's late <laughs> queen of Spain three E's one E of Spain alright I don't care the heck with capitalization um, so that's his reason for this to keep a record and also to sell this to the King and Queen of Spain. All right, last uh, home stretch here. What is the main idea? Well, that's going to take a little bit of reading. Um, but if you're looking at this, you're going to say that he's probably describing the natives as the first, uh, the first people. But he he obviously describes them. Uh, as simple as simple uh, people who uh, don't know anything about warfare that his highness can come and dominate this island uh, <clears throat> no beast of any kind except parrots on the island um, uh, let's see He's basically describing them, but he's describing them as just simple people who go around half naked, who, who paint themselves black, and uh, who are, you know, a very, you know, very, very basic type of uh, society. Um, so, yeah, there you go. The so what? Why is this document important? Uh, this document describes uh, Columbus's uh, opinions about the natives, and that sets up the attitudes that would be present from that point on. Columbus's writings are a starting point that are either confirmed or um, refuted by the evidence, but um, there's no reason to not confirm these uh, these events. All right, um, let's do another one real quick. Not Columbus's journal, something else. Um, Doctrine of Discovery. We can we can do that one. Uh, so we'll make this one. Uh, number B or letter B here author the author is it's a papal bull issued by Pope Alexander V or actually the sixth Alexander the sixth okay that's the uh, thing place and time uh, the best we got here is 1493 we don't have anything else here we don't have any other uh, uh, 
thing. So 1493. And uh, prior knowledge. You might not have any prior knowledge about Pope Alexander the Sixth. Um, Pope Alexander the Sixth was a. Da, 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 da. I think he was a Medici, I believe. Uh, I don't know. I know he's. Uh, I know he's a very corrupt. Pope and you know if anybody's listened to this and as Catholics, please don't be offended. But um, um, oh, he was a Borgia. Never mind. Yeah, he was a Borgia. Rodrigo de Borgia. Um, yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> Um, I don't know if you know anything about papal bulls. They are basically uh, statements of...